Hi, welcome back. We've got a, another product from Streamlight today. We've got the Streamlight Stryon, which is obviously a flashlight, a torch. I got some grief for calling it a flashlight in the last video. I know English people like to call it a torch. This is the Stryon 2020. Now, you can see the outer box there. It looks just like your average flashlight, but this one actually has a couple of neat little features so it comes nicely boxed actually so it's presented like so and that might look a little unusual in the presentation because it's kind of clamped within this plastic piece here which we will get into as to why and let's just take a look at the flashlight to start with as per usual very very nicely engineered by streamlight you can see the the quality of manufacture there it feels really really well made as always we have a tail switch we have what appears to be a button there and what appears to be a little clicky button there and then rather unusually two sort of silver contact points there and that will become very clear because the thing that was actually clamping it in place in the box below that cardboard was this holder which is in fact a charging device so this can be placed on a wall in the workshop or wherever you've got your duty kit something like that maybe in a vehicle and then this can simply be pushed onto there and we can see the two contact points are just going to attach straight on so we now have the flashlight charging so nice easy vehicle or wall mountable light there comes with a UK plug on this one and it also comes with a 12 volt adapter for a vehicle. So if you did want to mount this in a vehicle, you could. The adapters just pull out of the bottom there. And you've also got, as you can see on the side, you've got a USB input point there. So if you wanted to plug this into a standard USB-C, you could do that as well. The torch itself runs off of this rechargeable battery so when you plug it in it's actually recharging this it's removable which is good news because that means that you're not going to be stuck with the device that once it's run out of uh, recharge times you know all these rechargeable batteries have a lifetime and after many many recharges they will all stop working in the end and become less and less useful and in the end they will just stop entirely and if you can't take these things apart and actually replace the battery in there then that's going to obviously limit the the lifetime of your device and this is a 3450 milliamp hour battery so nice and powerful will last a long time we'll get into the specs in a second and that is just simply uh screwing at the end it's got a a rubber ring on it there just to stop any moisture ingress as you would expect let's get into the function of the flashlight first you have this very big central button which you can switch on and off it's just a clicky button and then double click will give you the strobe and then we have a tail switch as well which again is a click on and off and again double click for strobe if we just hold it on without clicking you've got that kind of ability to just keep it on and off with your thumb on off without actually clicking it fully in or you can just click like so then we have this switch here which i really like because it's very very easy to utilize we can go one two and we can go up to the highest level there and then back down one two down to the lowest that's got to be about the easiest way i can imagine to change the power settings on the flashlight as yet I, i'm surprised that no one else has taken such a 
an easy route to that. I know from the last Streamlight video I did on their little wedge shaped flashlight that I was bemoaning the fact that so many of these flashlights have like 10 or 15 different modes and you've got to do all these different button presses, you know, click this in so and so times in such and such a way and hold it down and all this kind of stuff. No one ever remembers any of that stuff. And if you're a first responder or your military, police, all that kind of thing, the last thing you want to be doing in a very high level stress situation is trying to remember how many presses you've got to do on your flashlight to get to the lowest setting or how many presses you need to do to get to a high beam. That's crazy. You know, all you need to do is switch it on and then you've got your thumb on that so you can walk around and if you need to go on high, you can go direct to high and you can go straight down to low or sit it in the middle. It's very, very simple to remember. Push it all the way to the right high, all the way to the left low. Like every human being on earth will be able to just know that it's common sense, you know, that if you push it all the way to the right, it's gonna give you the, the high level of function. When you turn it on, you have a little green LED showing up there, which will show your battery life. And then when we get into the features, I'm pretty sure that will change color as the battery starts to die down. So when you turn this on at first, you're gonna know whether you need to give it a recharge or not. Very nice form factor. You can see it fits into my hand like so. So it's a very standardized form factor. It's quite a powerful little flashlight. So it's not gonna be as small as say the wedge and some of the pen lights. This isn't designed to be a pocket carry. You know, it's designed more for a wall or vehicle mount as we've seen. So therefore it's gonna be a little bit bigger, a little bit more powerful than something you might just carry around in your pocket. Now, when you plug this thing in, you will see that light go red. That means it's charging. Once you have a full charge, it will start blinking. If it blinks rapidly, that means there's some sort of error with charging. Earlier, I mentioned this was a USB-C and it is actually the old USB shape, which is shaped rather like that. You can see it's just, uh, instead of the C, which is the same both sides, it's slightly uh, shorter on the top than it is on the bottom across. So for those of you old enough to know, that is the older type of USB input and it actually comes with a plug like so as well. This comes with a sort of American style plug that you can just adapt. You can plug that into an adapter if you so wish. This is available with a load of other accessories. And this is clearly a product that's aimed at the law enforcement market, the emergency services market, firemen, that kind of thing, because the type of accessories that come with it would be very, very well received by those guys. You've got multiple charging options from a bank of chargers through to a little piggyback device that will actually sit a spare battery on the side of this and charge that up as well a load of different holster options, different filter options. I'll chuck some of that up on the screen so you guys can take a look. But certainly the emergency services market for is being well catered for on the accessory line there. And if you had a whole bunch of these torches running back at the, the unit, then you could utilize some of those accessories and get them all charging, etc., and get them all ready to use very quickly. And as I mentioned, that green will turn to red when the battery is running dangerously low. So once that's red, when you turn it on, you know that that's time to put it into the charger. The whole unit is IPX7 waterproof and impact tested to two meters for drop testing. So again, very, very useful for the emergency services guys who are gonna use this. Most of us will appreciate that kind of thing because you know if you're like me and you have a habit of dropping these things in streams and crushing them around, dropping them on the floor in the workshop, it's good to know that they're gonna stand up to that kind of abuse. But more to the point, if you're a professional doing some kind of you know high risk job, you really, really need to know that this is something you can put trust in. And I've got a lot of trust in Streamlight products. You know, there's probably two or three torch manufacturers on the planet that I would really, really put my trust in if my life depended on it. 
and Streamlight R1, Surefire are definitely another. So those two guys for me are kind of the the premium products in the in the flashlight market right now. So modes on this we just spoke about high mode we have 1200 lumens which is incredibly bright most things are topping out at about a thousand lumens this one's topping out at 1200 so like i mentioned this is less of a kind of everyday carry in your pocket and more of a, a carry in the vehicle type of flashlight medium is doing 460 lumens which is more than enough for standard use, you know, searching around through a vehicle, searching through house rooms, etc. And then low, we've got 120 lumens, which again is more than enough for standard use. If you're looking for something on the floor in a dark room, then you're easily going to find it with 120 lumens. For those of you that want a really, really low lumen torch for kind of extreme long periods of use, map reading in a tent, you know, and you want it to last like 25 hours or something, this isn't the unit for you you're going to be looking for something that caters specifically for those rather niche requirements if you run this on high you're going to get 1.75 hours runtime out of a full charge medium 5.5 hours and then low 120 lumens you're going to get 12 hours use out of this 12 hours is still great you know and that's going to cover most people's shifts and then they can go and chuck this back on charge when they finish the shift and talking of that it has got a sort of fail safe for any overcharging problems. A lot of the sort of cheap uh, products that you get in the flashlight world, you know, if you leave them on charge, you can actually end up damaging them. That's a big issue, especially for the guys this is catered towards. You know, if you're in law enforcement or you're in the emergency services and you finished your shift and then you just chuck this on the wall and leave it to charge, you want to get back to it the next day or your next shift and make sure it's all in working order, that it has a full charge and that you haven't done it any damage. And most importantly, that you haven't burnt down the fire station that you're working at, leaving it on the charge. This has a digital control circuit in that will prevent it from being overcharged once it's reached full capacity. Charge time on this is 4.5 hours, which again, you know, if you're running a double shift and you were running low, uh, and you can plug this into your vehicle in the 12 volt socket and you're still going to get plenty of use out of it. It's not going to let you down in that way and you're going to be without a flashlight. It has Streamlight standard limited lifetime warranty, which I know I've heard from people that have used it. Streamlight are really, really good with their customers, especially the professional customers. You know, they get excellent service. In fact, everyone who uses the Streamlight products gets excellent service. I would have to say that about them. And limited lifetime warranty means if you sold this second hand and you bought it from someone else, the warranty wouldn't carry over. But if you're the first person to buy it, you bought it from new, you have a receipt, it's going to cover you for the lifetime of the product. And unlike a lot of manufacturers, you know, Streamlight are a huge company. They've been around a long time. They're not going anywhere in a hurry. So you can be sure that they're going to cover you. You know, they've got lots and lots of product support out there. So they are going to cover you and make sure you're well looked after rather than buying something with, you know, no brand name on Amazon. And they might say it's got a lifetime warranty, but then you go to replace that in two or three years time and the company no longer exists anymore. Weight wise is 5.7 ounces and I would say it's heftily pleasant. You know, it's got a bit of weight to it. So if you really needed to use it to kind of break something, I'm not suggesting that's what it should be used for, but it does have enough heft. It feels robust enough that you could use it in a pinch to break a window or something like that. It's certainly a lot lighter than some of the steel case torches out there and a lot lighter than some of the plastic case torches with the huge old style batteries in them. I've seen this online in the US about $150. I don't know if this is available in the UK. It's a fairly new product out from Streamlight. If I can find a link for a UK available version, I will throw it up. 
I've no doubt we will be charged a little bit more than you would in the US. It won't be a direct conversion, not Streamlight's fault. That's all to do with things coming over here and getting taxed, especially since Brexit. We're always going to pay a little bit over the odds for products coming from overseas. We're not going to see the, the good prices that the US guys do. I really like this torch. As I said, if I was a first responder, military, someone like that, and security personnel, and I really, really wanted a duty torch that was, say, an upgrade to something like a mag light, then this is 100% what I would go for. Uh, I would also carry one of the streamlight torches in my pocket, you know, probably the little pen cell that I normally have on me anyway. But certainly for my main torch, this would be it, kept in the vehicle, and then I would just have a charging station back at base, plug it in, leave it charging up there, and on the next shift, go and pick it up again. It really, really is a nice little torch for that. Ease of operation is fantastic. Love that switch. Absolutely ideal for use in those type of environments, maybe high stress. They've done a, a great job as per usual. Streamlight, thank you very much. I will continue to use your fantastic products and I would suggest you guys all go and check their products out. If it's not this one, I'm sure they have another product in their line that you will like, but I would strongly recommend you check this one out because it is absolutely awesome. Take care guys, have a good one, I'll catch you all soon.